Sword practice, huh? We got a lot of hurdles ahead of us, so maybe don't push yourself too hard. <sighs> Nay, you need not worry after me. I find myself reminded of my limitations. Gotcha. Well, I guess a lot's happened so far. Yes, and while not all can be solved at the thrust of a sword, there remains much that good swordsmanship can prove. Should this world of mine continue to advance in technology, there may come a day when swords such as these no longer serve any martial purpose. One day when which they are but relics of the past. Yet even then, I believe they will offer us some things we will never lose. The chivalrous way of our knights, sworn to their swords, may yet carry on through the ages. Discarded or replaced, something more spiritual and cultural shall remain. What makes you think that? I believe that the very same drive which compels us to fight is the same which we will require in order to move our world forward. Never mind the fact that you acknowledged in our first sparring session that your world too retains military arts. Yeah, I guess I did say something like that. And yeah, when we train in military arts, the first thing they teach us is how to temper our hearts. All right then. I am gonna go work out my body to train my mind. You coming? Of course. Be aware, however, that I see no need to hold back against you any longer. Show me a little mercy here. before our attack on the Empire. Not this time, though. This time, I know we'll all make it through together! Our towns are safe now in the hands of Theo and his men. He will not be easily overcome. That, I can assure you. Let us head for Nilbeth. Bulldor will have his way with my world no more. Excuse you? Just when I thought I might enjoy Nilbeth's ancient ruins, I get dragged away by some soldiers. Uh, worry not, though, fair travelers. I did manage to restock the stall out at the Trathen settlement. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, if you find yourself out that way for some unforeseen reason, do take a look. You are much too nervous. Just take a deep breath. I hear you lot are headed for Nilda. That place really brings back memories from when I was a kid. The long history of the traffic is deeply rooted there. Please, help us get our home back. I wholeheartedly support you. You've all got heart, courage, and wits to spare. I'm certain you'll find a way to bring that tower down. I can only hope for your safety from here. Please be careful. Monsters after the tower appeared, I... I left my wife behind. I didn't mean to abandon her. Perhaps we should have met our ends together. She told me to run. Said she didn't have much longer to live anyway. Her Aussie's cause remained, but... There's no bringing her back. And it's all my fault.
Would anyone have imagined I would be dressed to be wed so soon? And of them, who could have anticipated these circumstances? Quite the hassle, huh? Must have been hard. This was all merely performative, of course. But... Honestly, how did I look? Fit for the attire? What? Uh, yeah, I mean... You looked great. Well then, my thanks. Actually, it was nice to see a different side of you than usual. But... But... what? I can't really put my finger on it, but something about it just didn't sit right. I mean, the ceremony was so sudden. It also made me think, how can a dress get made that quickly? A keen observation. The dress was not originally tailored for me, in fact. It was merely a refitting of a dress on hand. Ah, oh, now I gotcha. So, it wasn't the right one for a princess to wear. Yet, I cannot help but think Uldor may have truly called for this in good faith. Huh? I am left feeling conflicted. Malkia? Well, that's something you don't see every day. Yes, child. What do you wish to consult with me? I just don't have anyone else I can talk to about this. Oh? I... um... What do I have to do to get an older man to like me? I need to know! What? the inquiry. In my personal opinion, no matter how mature a man becomes, he will always have the mind of a boy. The mind of a boy? Correct. Thus, understanding a boy's mindset would be an effective method in garnering a man's appeal. For people instinctively seek out those who can understand how they feel. Oh my gosh, you're totally right! That makes perfect sense! Malkia, you're a genius! <laughs> Truly now, I am pleased to know I was of assistance. I really admire adults like you with years and years of experience! Child, please, you are much too gracious. Oh, that reminds me! Yes, if you have come this far, you may as well continue. Malkia, may I ask how old you are? I am willing to answer you. However... Are you quite sure you will not regret asking? Uh, um... I'm sorry, no more questions from me. Yes, that would be wise. And the same applies to whomever is eavesdropping over there. Yeah. Uh, uh huh? R Ray? Speak up if that's you! Uh, sorry for listening in. But, um, I appreciate you hearing Chloe out. Pay it no mind. It is an elder's duty to spark the fires of passion in the young. An elder, huh? Nope, 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 nope. I am not saying a word. He thinks us cogs in his machine, but we'll show him our motors spin outside of his plans. 
Both Osirius and Vale work tirelessly to take in traff and evacuees. Words cannot express my gratitude. No matter how many times Bulldor comes back, we'll be there to put a stop to him once again. Keep your wits about you, Ray. We have no vision inside that structure. You'll need to expect the unexpected. Hey, uh, do you have a moment? What's this about? Uh, well, I'm not sure now's the best time to bring this up, but, uh, I got something important I want to ask you. Oh? What is it? I'll answer as best as I can. So, yeah, about when the Edis got shot down. Oh, yes, that. What do you think the chances are of getting some kind of, like, reimbursement or compensation for that? Uh, yes. Um, I'm sure we could work something out. Though, uh... It's a little difficult to judge at present with me alone. So, you're saying it's hard for you to push the decision through on your own, yeah? Correct. I apologize. I promise I'll do everything I possibly can to help you, though. Is it alright if I get back to you a little later about this? Sure, yeah, yeah, sorry, I wasn't trying to pressure you or anything. It all just comes down to, like, company accounting and spacecraft registration, so whether it's gonna get comped or not changes how we handle things. I'm just a little anxious is all. Again, so sorry. N no I totally get it. The military has haphazardly destroyed your company's property. I won't disappoint you. I'll do all I can to negotiate federal compensation for you. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. The Centralists and Bulldor himself serve well enough as proof that peace is not guaranteed by becoming one with the Scorpion. Raymond, do you have a moment to spare? Uh, yeah, sure. I don't mind. What's going on? On our journeys, you have been a great help on countless occasions. Truthfully, I do not know what would have become of us had we not met back in the Larkus Weald. Albert, what's with you all of a sudden? For this reason, I personally would like to show my appreciation. You said you liked sweets. Yes? Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. I'm a sugar fiend. Ah, splendid. For there is a confectionery here that serves my most favorite sweet. I shall take you there, as thanks. Come, let us be off. Oh, all right. 
Damn, that was delicious. The sweetness packed a punch, but the flavor was so delicate. Oh, you noticed. Their goods are a notch above the rest, because the methods they use are quite unique. Interesting. Yeah, you're gonna have to show me all the hot spots. I suppose I have no choice. As thanks. I have a favorite in the royal capital of Sendros. I shall take you there on our next visit. <laughs> I think he's just looking for an excuse to gorge himself on sugar. All these people in just one city, in one nation, on one single planet. Madness to think you could assimilate everyone on every planet in the entire universe. We should have known Baldur's plan was always to return here, when he told Gerard he was leaving the Empire in his hands for the time being. Anyone home? Uh, hey, what's going on? since you snuck up on me. What an awesome scavenger you are, coming here before I even call you. Ta-da! Check this out. The ring? Whoa. Is it really? correct mundo This is the other ring handed down throughout the vineyard family. Finally. At long last, I have found it! <laughs> Wow. Guess that explains the freaky laughter, all right. Congrats. Great. So, where'd you find it, anyway? This you're not gonna believe. It actually got passed along to the Vale Empire. No wonder I couldn't find it searching all serious high and low. Normally, you'd think the ring would be hard to find after falling into the Empire's hands, right? But thanks to the big old snafu between Osirius and Vale recently, relations and trading between the two have been totally revamped! That's how I got my hands on it! <laughs> I'll bet there were some cool people working super hard behind the scenes to make this happen. Don't ask me who, but they definitely have my gratitude. I'm sure you feel the same, yeah? Oh, yeah, sure. Naturally, I gotta extend my thanks to you, too. I'm on the verge of restoring the Vineyard family name. And it's all thanks to my personal scavenger here. You collected all the vital material I needed. As head of my family, I, Welch Vineyard, would like to reward you with my sincerest gratitude. Okay then, now that I'm in rightful possession of this ring again, I'm starting to think this house is too small for my big ambitions. I'm gonna build an enormous manor that befits this beautiful merchant magnate with genius level smarts. Oh, nah, that won't cut it. What a lame, humdrum way of reviving our name. I'm gonna make the vineyards the greatest family of merchants in the entire universe! Now that relations with the Empire are on the up and up, it's the perfect time for some commerce! And until we're the world's leading merchant family, I'll be making use of your services. As my scavenger... No, that's not right. To use an old term from Vineyard Family history, you are my business partner. <laughs> so let's get back to business partner. The best is yet to come for the vineyards. I'll prove that we're the best. 
best family of merchants in the whole universe! Door said something about Nilbeth being perfect for him. Hmm. Do you think that's because it's like that cave on Verkness? The think a common foe has Osirius and Veil vale now coming together as one. Ray, do you have a moment? I was hoping to share the results of my people watching so far. Yeah, I don't mind. I didn't know you've been doing stuff like that, though. Um, how am I supposed to judge the results of your people watching? I shall show you my imitations. Y your what? I am of mind that the best way to understand humanoids is to try and become like them myself. What I would like for you to do is try and guess who I am speaking as. If you are ready, I shall begin. Ray, you don't look too good. Are you feeling okay? If you keep tripping over rocks like that, Albert will get on your case again. Oh, easy as pie. Nina, right? Correct. Actually, I don't know if it was easy per se. It's more like no one else talks that way. Let us continue, then. More? Huh. That's my Elena for you, my number one partner. Now I hereby promise I'll focus on my job, wake up in the morning all on my own, and clear my plate at every meal. <gasps> Wait, you don't think that's what I sound like, do you? And uh, knock off making me promise to do all that crazy stuff. the people I wanted to see. I have a little request for you. Could you take this cat to Vale for me? Things have been getting worse in Vale of late, and this little guy's owner hasn't been able to come and get him. You're the only ones I can trust with a request like this. I'm sorry for asking this of you.
That poor cat was here for a while. It must be tough being stuck a whole country away from your owner. I'll take this over running deliveries any day. Huh? Didn't recognize its owner. <laughs> what a silly cat. I'm sure it'll remember soon enough. I'm sorry for having you come all the way back to see me. I don't have anything else for you at the moment, but feel free to have a rest here. ones who destroyed my cargo? That's a flat-out crime. You think you're just gonna get away with that? But, if you're willing to work to pay it off, you'll be consider pressing charges. So, how about inspecting some suspicious cargo in the warehouse for me? Gotta warn you, though. The last guy on the job is still laid up in the infirmary. Good luck. idea to ask you folks. Thanks for taking care of all that suspicious cargo. I'll take this over running deliveries any day. I'd appreciate it if you could help us on a regular basis with any more that comes in. There might be some pretty valuable stuff in it for you. Scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. 